Hello beautiful plenty people. It's Scully and welcome to Scully's Creations where we talk about plants and occasionally do a creative project here and there. If that sounds like your thing, your jam, please subscribe. Make sure you hit the bells of the bells to ensure that you are notified next time I put out a planty video. Okay, so speaking of planty videos, we are gonna do my planty story. How did I get into plants? Why did I get into plants? The whole thing. Also, shout out to Madison. Thank you, Madison. She had asked if I had a video like this. I was like, you know what? No, I don't have a video like that. Let me do that. So this week, this is what we're doing. <laughs> All right, let's just get into it. So in order for you to understand, let me set the scene. It's 2020. My boyfriend and I are living together and together we have three dogs. Three precious babies that literally melt our hearts, okay? <laughs> now, with that being said, let me go ahead and introduce you to my three babies or our three babies. But they're really not. Our three babies. <laughs> let me introduce you to our three babies. Our first dog is our oldest dog and he is 14 years old and he's still kicking it. Please continue to kick it as long as you possibly can because I know 14 for a dog is old. <laughs> um, so he is a Great Pyrenees and Chow Chow mix and together it makes a very beautiful dog but man does he shed a lot. <laughs> our next like an age is our smallest one and he is a Shih Tzu and Bichon mix which they call them teddy bears or Shishans. He looks like a little Ewok from Star Wars that's how I always describe him and you know what he sounds like Chewbacca when he has an attitude and wants something. <sighs> <laughs> Anyways, next up is our third one and our youngest and last one and he is a great Pyrenees and man he is so sweet they they all are but he sheds a lot. So together the shedding can be a lot. During the winter when we first moved in together it wasn't that bad but as the summer came along they were shedding a lot more and they were attracting a lot more dust in our home and even with like brushings, I would probably do it, brush them once a day or maybe once every other day. And it turns out you need to brush them in the morning and at night. So eventually we got down a routine, but at the time the dust was a lot and we were searching for ways to help with the dust in our home because they were just you know as soon as we would take them out they would bring it right like right in and i'd be just be like i just cleaned why is there more dust everywhere like an hour later so needless to say we were kind of going crazy with the dust <laughs> again we eventually got a system down that worked for us reduced the amount of dust and all of that was all good but plants was like one of the first things that I saw that helped reduce plants. More specifically, peace lilies um, was, I think, according to, it was according, according to some study that I saw online, peace lily was the number one plant that helped reduce dust in your home. Now, fun fact, in order for that to be effective, you need a lot, like a lot of plants to reduce the amount of dust you have in your home. Like I said, it was really just a matter of cleaning more often um, because before in the winter, we were cleaning and doing the, those things maybe like once every three days. During the summer, that definitely just increased. And again, we weren't aware like of, of, of it. We just like, we're like, what the heck is happening? Um, we hadn't lived together with all three dogs, so all three dogs combined were just a lot. So it basically, again, just came down to the dust. I was like, according to this article or YouTube video, whatever I saw, I can't even remember, it says that Peace Lily is gonna, it's gonna help. We need some plants. We need some plants in here. So I eventually found this massive Peace Lily. Now, with the Peace Lily being so big, I did know that I wanted to share it with my boyfriend's mom and you know i just wanted you know multiple plants versus like one big one and so i repotted everything into these pots that didn't have any drainage holes yeah and about three days later 
all of them started turning yellow, like yellowing leaves. And I just couldn't for the life of me figure out why this was happening. So I started doing more research. And upon all that research, I realized that I had probably given my plant root rot. And I did. I absolutely gave my plant root rot. So by giving my plant root rot, it got me to invest more time in videos that were about plants. And then I started kind of going into like this rabbit hole of videos. It wasn't just uh, how do I save my root rotted plant? It was it was more like how do I save my root rot plant? Oh, what, plants that are good on water. Oh, Hoyas, this, that. Oh, what is this plant? And it just kind of sparked this light that I didn't know I had inside of me that fell in love with plants. So that's how it started, which was just me trying to figure out ways to reduce the dust in my home. But it did get me to uh, look at more plants. And then I want to say about a couple like weeks later after I was like figuring out how to save this peace lily, um, some of the parts of the peace lily were doing much better. And that was so rewarding. I was like, oh my gosh, uh, I was caring for this living thing and it was doing better. Dopamine hit, dopamine hit, dopamine hit. And so I decided to get another plant and then I decided to get another plant. And by the time I moved out of my boyfriend's place, I had like 15 plants. And then fast forward two years later and I have approximately 100 plants. <laughs> And don't get me wrong, 100 plants is a lot and I am going to be reducing my collection just to make it more manageable because right now the situation is I don't live with my boyfriend right now and I am going back and forth and if I'm gone for more than two weeks, I am for sure coming home to some dead plants. So actually, uh, just a funny like add-on, but the plants that I'm like, keeping an eye on if they're not in my tank i bring some of the more some of the more sensitive ones like the ones that need maybe a little bit more water more often so i always like have like when i go over there and i know i'm gonna be over there for at least two weeks i always bring like a small box of plants with me just because i want to make sure that they're taken care of and i don't come home to like dead plants but for the most part, my plants are good. Um, I either have them in nursery pots. Um, I, I hardly use terracotta right now for that reason. That's just a tip, I guess. Um, keep your plants in either nursery pots or ceramic pots if you know that you're gone a lot. It will hold water way more. It will last longer um, throughout the time that you're gone. So that's just a tip there. But yeah, that's how I got into plants. I, It was just dust. <laughs> it was dust. I was trying to figure out a way or we were both trying to figure out a way to reduce the dust in our home and I went on a plant rabbit hole and again here we are two years later and I absolutely love taking care of my plants. I love being able to share my knowledge with you guys now and it actually ended up working out too because when I first started this channel I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I mean, I had value with art to give, but how I view art is actually more of a de-stressor. The way I like to paint is I like to have a video on or something on in the background and then me focus on painting. I can't talk and paint at the same time. It That's not how my brain works. So it was difficult to make videos like that. I have ADD and ADHD, so if any of y'all know what that feels like, you go full force on something and then you get bored and then you get you go full force on something else and then you get bored and that's kind of how our brain works. Um, but with this, I did that. I went full force on it, but I didn't get bored and that's when I realized wow, there's something, there's something inside of me that needs to be here. And 
I'm very much a person who likes to educate. If I know something, I want to be able to share that with everybody, uh, especially when it comes to, I don't know, you know, uh, uh, just life in general, because I'll, uh, I'll tell y'all. Uh, so I'm currently looking for another job, but for a while I was doing uh, Uber and I kind of still am. But <laughs> with Uber, you meet a lot of people and a lot of the times my car turns into a therapy session for a lot of people. And that's just because I'm very open and talkative and can make people feel comfortable. And I realize that I can now take a lot of pride in that, um, but now can put that same uh, passion and love of sharing to this because this is not only something that I love, but I love sharing with others as well. And I mean, I know if you've, if you've watched some of my other videos, you've probably heard one of my favorite things to do is share my plants with others. It's the same thing. I love to share my plants with others, but I also love to share the plant information that I'm gaining with y'all. So it's a whole journey. It kind of is just beginning. And I'm just really happy to have y'all here, like genuinely happy to have y'all here. And that is, I think that's it. I, I probably rambled on way too much, but that's the gist. That's how I got into plants. This is where we are now. And I'm just really excited to continue to grow this channel with all of you. Because again, this, this is not my growth. This is literally our growth because you are what make this happen. So I'm fully aware of that. And I'm very, very thankful. I know we're only like at 200 followers right now, but hey, a year from now, I hope to be at a lot more and that all has to do with you guys. So uh, thank you so much for for listening. I hope I didn't ramble on too much. I probably did because I can talk a lot. I think this is why this like path that I'm taking with YouTube is actually really good because I can talk to y'all and I can do it. <laughs> like I love to talk. <laughs> Anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope y'all really did find some type of value in it or just got to know me a little bit better. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave me a comment below letting me know what you would like to see instead. And I'd be happy to do that. Do something that's a little bit more to your liking. So I hope you'll have a wonderful and plenty day and just... Have a good time. Ha have a good time. And I will see you in my next video on Friday. Bye. Bye.